before I do anything, shout out to Keybug55 for throwing me this Saber Lie. It had Prankster, and I've always wanted a Prankster Saber Lie, and I haven't had one of these ever until then. And she also threw me a Yay Mask and the Nidoran with a hidden ability. And I'm all up for those hidden abilities. I love the hidden abilities. So yeah, thank you very much. Channel in the description, blah blah. Twitter in the description, blah 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 blah. Thank you. So here we are. Trick or treat friendly. We're gonna do this one, then I'll probably do a fail one. Because the fail one was gutting. As you saw, both teams were exactly the same. Happened quite a lot. Both teams are like the same. You haven't got that many ghost Pokemon to choose from, so I'm bound to run into the, you know, some similarities. And the fact that we're still forced to use that Super Soyuz. Super Soyuz? Super Soyuz Gold Ghost! Means that we're gonna have at least one Pokemon the same every single time. Plus, everyone loves Mega Gengar, so what are you gonna do? That's two exactly the same Pokemon every time. Pfft. Either way, taking back my Sableye, I am not dealing with a Dazzling Gleam from him. No, no, no. That is an instant killer, and it happens so many times. That was my trademark calling card during most of this. Throw that out. Kill that Sableye turn one, boom, before I can do anything too nasty. There's Dazzling Gleam. Good guys don't care about no Dazzling Gleam, not even a critical hit, because I have taunted up my special defense on that goal, guys, like hell, because I knew I'd be sorting out those buggers. Uh, it does a hell of a damage for just a Shadow Sneak. That's what EVs do, people, that's what EVs do. Uh, again, ow. Ow. That hurts, but still hanging on in there, and this is a weird one. My opponent's got a real thing for Protect. Protect is a fantastic, gorgeous move for doubles, but singles? Or what a fur? No. That's weird in singles. Maybe he was just like seriously constantly scouting what I was going to do. I don't know, maybe he just threw in a doubles team. Who knows, but a bit of a weird one to use. Uh, Shadow Sneak's still going in there, chipping away my own life, my um, life orb, but it's worth it. Protect again? Don't know what's going on here. Weirdly enough, this guy isn't the only person who tried to protect on me and my goal guys. I had it in another battle, and it almost made me feel like he was trying to protect and hope that my life would go down even though the life orb didn't get activated. I, I don't know, or maybe they're just trying to kill time, give the brain some time to cool down, because you know, it's awfully intimidating fighting me. Either way, my poor little gore guys, poor super-sized gore guys, nothing little about him. He's gone now, so we're down to Sableye. Uh, I still have Mega Gengar in the back. Well, Gengar on his own at the moment, not um, not mega up. Not quite yet. Um, protect skin, which was weird. I'm going to get the Will-O-Wisp off because they're all physical. That's what I bloody thought anyway until he came out with Snarl. I see why you're using Snarl. By the way, it's the first time I ever saw that animation. Have you guys seen that? It's such a rare move, Snarl. Uh, I see why you're using Snarl, um, if you've got Sableye in there, he's pretty bulky, he can take a hell of a lot of hits, and if you can knock down the um, special attack of like a Mega Gengar or anything else, then um, that definitely nullifies the threat so much. Either way, foul play, again, not anything, I'm not scared by anything going on from this Sableye to be honest, it's burnt, Snarl is weak as hell, <laughs> Sableye can take everything, he's Tonk. Now we've got a slightly hurt Gengar, and I'm feeling cocky at this point. Sod it, swagger! Uh, a lot. Do you know what? This is my Sableye is one of the few ones that had swagger in the whole of the Trick or Treat friendly, which was a bit weird because it's well useful, especially since you're going to get so many Gengars come at you. So uh, yeah, Gengar, stop hitting yourself. All right, it comes up again, and uh, Gengar, stop hitting yourself. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to sit in now, I'm just going to recover, because I've got my Rosalie Berry, I don't care. Dazzling Gleam is going to kill me, so, uh, Gengar. Hey, Gengar. Gengar, stop hitting yourself. <laughs> I love when I don't even have to do anything. Uh, so Gengar successfully managed to punch himself in the face three times. I come with a knockout, a little, little slap to the back. Doesn't even need it, it's gone already. Uh, and he popped out with, with uh, Gorgeist. Finds my Rosalie Berry, pfft, bothered, and he protects! What is with the protect? Are you just... Uh, what, I'm gonna be put off by the fact you protect me? I think, no. No, I'm not gonna Willow Whisper again. No, I will. I, t I totally will, I'm throwing out another Willow Whisper. Yeah, you deal with that. Mmm, burn. Mmm, burning up, setting light to my jack o lantern Oh, got a carpet jack o lantern lighting on. <gasps> it's gonna be well good. Okay, um, I say well good, it's gonna be a, a massive mess and then ultimately a massive disappointment in how awful my one looks and how much better Vons looks as always uh, uh. so <laughs> so I come in with the knockoff which um, surprisingly uh, oh by the way did you see how much that fountain force did it was barely anything thank you burn um, so coming in with the knockoff berry and the cobra uh, knockoff berry knock off but the cobra berry 
uh, half the damage, which is weird because it doubled the damage because it was an item, knock off, and then half the damage. Uh, just a little bit of the wobbles of the Pokemon universe. Uh, and <laughs> my Sableye's just sitting pretty. He, he doesn't care. He's just going to keep recovering. Yeah, it's cheese, but uh, hell. I, <laughs> I like not having to use Gengar for a change. Oh, burn. Oh, knock off. Oh. Easy as that. I wish all my matches were that easy. I actually had a really quite tough time. A really good time, but a tough time. And, um, do you know what? There's, there's another match which I'm going to show you in Epic Fails. I'm going to have Epic Fails number three. I've been waiting so long to do another Epic Fails, and that was a right sort of match. Anyway, have a good Halloween! Stay safe. Uh, don't scare two people too many times. Uh, two people. I can scare three people, not too many people. And, uh, yeah. Ultimately, it's for the kids and the dead, so be respectful of both of them. But, uh, don't worry about the undead. You can punch them in the face. They don't need respect. For the love of God, yeah, read dead them undead. Um, and, I don't know, stay spooky, people, and see you later. Murder!